Hi, I have with me a wonderful storyteller, Jennifer Monroe, who's here to talk to you a little bit about um, her storytelling journey and what's going to happen at the Connecticut Storytelling Festival. So Jennifer, what moved you to become a storyteller in the first place? Well, I grew up in Great Britain listening to BBC radio and I just fell in love with the spoken word. And when I uh, moved to America, and when I had a family, I was invited to go into my uh, son's first grade class to be story mom, which meant I chose a picture book and then read it. And I actually thought that was pretty boring. And I did choose a picture book, but I learned it. And I learned it to the extent where I was able to tell it very flu fluently, not exactly word for word, because you wouldn't want to do that. And what happened was that these kids absolutely fell into the story. They were so transported, their faces were, were, were lost because their imaginations were so fired. The silence in the room was almost frightening. And that's when I realized just how powerful word to listener is. You know, when you read, it's a three-way process, text, reader, store, uh, listener. But when you tell a story, it's storyteller, listener. It's very dynamic. It's very powerful. And it really goes from heart to heart. Thank you. So what are your favorite kinds of stories to tell and why do you enjoy telling them? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I, I love personal stories. Um, you know, I grew up in a large working class family in, uh, in a rather rough neighborhood. And uh, my family was filled with interesting characters. I didn't realize they were interesting at the time. I thought everybody had an uncle who had a pet monkey and, you know, all those sorts of things. Um, so I fell in, you know, I, and when I came to America and I started becoming involved in the storytelling scene as a listener, I fell in love with the likes of Joe Callahan and Sid Lieberman and Donald Davis and, um, I, I love the personal story, and that's when I started creating personal stories. But as I've, as I've gotten older, as I've evolved, uh, I've started to include myths and legends into personal experience, because myth underlies, you know, everything that human beings do, I believe. Um, and so uh, an allegory, and I started creating original fairy tales and creation myths and that kind of thing. So I've really expanded and I do love folk and fairy tales and, and, and I do have a few in my repertoire and I love them and I've told them. Uh, so I'm really not exclusively personal storyteller. Okay, so you are giving a workshop on humor at the Connecticut Storytelling Festival this year. What do you hope participants will come away with from your workshop? I think the most important thing for me right now is that they come away with the joy of having laughed in the company of other people. Um, something that we haven't been able to do. Um, so that's number one. Um, but I also want them to come away with an understanding of the mechanics of how humor operates. I'm absolutely fascinated by what makes some things funny and other things actually offensive. And what is that? That I love that little surprise in a moment that makes us laugh. It's that surprise element, I think. So I, I hope to share with them a few of the mechanics that I've used and also learned about. Um, and I think most importantly, in terms of story creation, the realization that humor adds to the depth and meaning of the story. But not only that, it creates a powerful connection. 
with the audience. Um, so that in a, in a nutshell is what I hope people will take away. And uh, we'll certainly have fun while we do it. Um, we'll be um, reading funny examples. We'll be, um, I'll ask groups to work on a narrative joke and then stand up and share it with the group. And then we'll examine, examine exactly how the humor occurred and how that corresponds to certain uh, theories that have been posed about uh, what makes things funny. Um, and then we'll stop, I'll, I'll share some examples from my own work. Um, and then everyone will start working on sharing maybe anecdotes, you know, something funny that happened to them and how that has the potential to be incorporated into a story or really has the potential to grow into a story. So that in a nutshell is what I hope people will walk away with. Wonderful. Well, I can't wait for the festival and for your workshop. And uh, thank you so much for your time today. You're more than welcome, Katie. Thank you.